This is my uh, new poetry collection called Anatomize. And I have a few copies if anyone's interested in one afterwards. I'm going to read um, four or five poems from Anatomize, uh, which are all about the human body. Then I'm going to read f uh, four poems from a new series, uh, sort of BDSM slash kink series. I I've written, I'll just read them. Okay. <laughs> you can make up your mind. Cliff top. On a wild turkey night under an Atavan moon, I stagger around the cliffs to lift my dark spirits. One too many times you arrive with the slime of her on you and expect me to lick it away. I slip or fall or plunge into the bitch slap ice cube sea where the fish nibble my flesh and gropers take sustenance from my innards till all that's left is bones. A home for hermit crabs, the dome of my skull. Plankton colonize my rib cage. My weary bones roll on rocks. I've found my salty home on the seabed floor where currents pass through me and gently caress me. My heart is devoured by bottom-feeding creatures of the deep. A lobster eats my pancreas. A crab consumes my pituitary gland. They may end up on your table as you have a penchant for seafood. Take me, see, I'm yours. Eat me, lover, I'm fish food. And the next one is called Become. All orphans are created equal, all need fixing, as you, orphan boy, carried in your body, the shadow body of the woman you were to become. Inside the butterfly lurks the shadow of the grub. Each successive metamorphosis carries all the former selves like Russian dolls, you inside your mother's mother's mother, you're the woman trapped inside the boy until you allow her to be free with the help of the surgeon and his scalpel, your hormone pills, your depilations. Dance, boy, limp your way towards womanhood. Dance, woman, shake your narrow hips with the energy of the boy. Be free, become. Hemoglobin. She has lost a lot of blood. She has given a lot of blood away. She has infused her blood with pharmaceuticals. She has infused her blood with attar of roses in industrial amounts. She has sold her blood for 50 pounds sterling per pint. She has cut her thumb and bled into a stew. She has poisoned her blood. She has gotten blood poisoning. She has had her blood poisoned. She has attended a blood wedding twice, once as a groom and once as a bride. She has excellent blood pressure, smack bang in the middle of the healthy range. She has had her blood colonized. She has leaked and oozed blood by lunar ticks. She has donated blood via a spinning machine that separates red cells from plasma centrifugally. She has eight pints of blood still, yet it is different blood to, th to the first blood. And this one's called O Positive, 1993. <clears throat> you, tra you trance all weekend on E and meth, meet red glitter horns guy, cloven hoof and tail, tail him home and fuck for hours, bronchitis me, Monday morning, sound shocking, can't hardly speak. I cinnamon you stewed apples. Later you tell me the virus. And that was the weekend. You said you knew 
like a woman can know the exact moment of conception when her ovum is penetrated, a tiny ping. You say you knew that I knew too, and I did. I never knew how sick you were, how the virus colonized you, how your blood let us down, how you couldn't fight infection. Then you died, and I miss you. And this one is called Orchid Legs and Dagger Heart. Commences with a magenta hibiscus, grows into an inky anklet, bluebirds. It hurts her like the dentist, but the familiar pain reminds her she's alive. He crimson hearts her, cobalts and emeralds her canvas leg. Panther rampant leaps up her, to her crotch. When her whole leg's covered, she knows she's addicted. Artwork creeps down the other leg, but she wants more, can't stop. Electricity courses, skin prickles, blood sometimes leaps. Tattoo guy won't stop, can't stop, till she says so. Full sleeves, both arms, tits and torso, till finally fully flashed artwork is laid down with only the head and neck left bare, then do the neck. So those are from Anatomize, and these are new ones I've never read in public before. They're virgin poems, and you all are hearing them for the first time. <laughs> and these are from a sort of kink cycle. I'm sort of writing several cycles at the moment that are like 12 or 13 poems um, each. And the first one I'm going to read is called It's Not a Sin. Take my body and soul, be merciful, O Lord, I am in distress. I give myself to thee, conflicted as I am. I am unworthy, a sinner. Taking delight in the flesh is sinful. I am to be punished, stroke, slap, stroke, slap, stroke. The harsh admonishments of the religious teachers in the childhood of my mind intertwine with the adolescent wakenings of the centers of pleasure. You, mistress, look like Sister Cecilia of the Seven Sorrows. You hurt me so I may hurt myself less. Let me expose my buttocks to you that you may give me the whipping I so truly deserve. Thank you, mistress, sister. It's not a sin, is it? And this one's called Slave. Oh, mistress, I am not worthy to lick your Amazonian muscled legs. I am not worthy to touch you. Only to please you, that is my wish. Oh, mistress, Feel free to punish me for infractions by corporal punishment, restriction, confinement. I will take it with relish, no matter how harsh, how painful. I worship and adore the ground you walk on as a man in control, standing upright, wielding my privilege. I gladly give it all to you. Whether you're acting or not, mistress, I hunger for a woman who can take control, who can treat me like the slut, the baggage I am. Thank you, mistress. And this one's the penultimate one, and it's called Cross Dress. Um, let me glue down your eyebrows. Let me pan, stick, shade, grease paint and contour you. Let me spangle shadow and eyelash you, top and bottom, my flirtatious slave girl. 
Let your mistress line you outside your natural lip line for the appearance of a big, glossy mouth, welcoming and wet, open and luscious. I will now just glue down the lace front of this voluminous chestnut wig to your forehead, my sexy slut, to give you big hair, natural, tousled, ready for bed. Ease into this elasticized slip, tight, firming, and assist me to slither your long legs into both these pairs of nude flesh pantyhose. Don't you look lovely? Slip into these five inch heels. Walk for me. Very nice. Slower. Provocative. You are so enticing, so sexy, you little slut. Let your mistress zip your slender frame into this vermilion, ruched cocktail gown, skin tight, so inviting. You are asking for it, aren't you? Anyone can take you, do what they want. In fact, I think I will, or not. And the last one um, is called Switch. She prowls around a panther, caged, examining me, taunting me, humiliating me. I take it all, humble, penitent. When she strikes me, I thank her, waiting patiently, patiently waiting. No hint do I give of what I feel inside, the better to dissemble when it is my turn to take control. She is so full of power and strength, she raises her gloved hand in the air. I grab the wrist, twist it up her back, the serpent mesmerizing, the mongoose. She is as if deflated. I hear the power hiss out of her. She becomes meek. I order her to call me master. She responds, yes, master. Head bowed, back exposed, she takes my crop, my slaps, my lash, Willingly, ecstatic, now I will show her who is master. Only the trace of a smile reveals her to be the actress I know she is. Thank you.